thought I'd come down to the greenhouse and water today. I did not even water yesterday just because I haven't seen the sun in probably a week. We haven't had any sun at all. Look how foggy it is out there. But it has been warm the last several days. I have not run my pellet stove at all in here. It's been in the 60s. We're at 63 right now, which is pretty warm for December. I need to go down to the chicken coop and get eggs. All right, let's take an egg carton down there. I can totally tolerate the 60s these days. That's pretty warm. Ooh, and everything's swollen. Good afternoon. Guys, it stopped raining. It has stopped raining. I'm feeling a little more alive. Uh, we had rain for at least seven days straight. No sun at all. It was, it was different. I, I was, it was really a nice thing to see when you wake up in the morning and it's coming through the blinds. So I was really excited about that. And today I went out and I went and did some grocery shopping. And I got some stuff to make some apple butter because I want to make some apple butter for some Christmas gifts. I went to the store and got some apples. I'm going to make some apple butter. I did that last year for Christmas gifts and it turned out really good. I start my apple butter at night because I put it in the crock pot and let it cook overnight. I let it thicken up while I'm at church. And then when I get home, I usually do the spoon test, which is put in there. And if it mounds up on a spoon, it's ready to be put into the canner. So that is my plan, and we'll get these ready tonight after dinner and let them cook. I'm gonna find my canner it's down here. This is my water bath canner, that is what I use. Now, of course, if you're just wanting to eat it right away, you don't have to put it in the water bath canner, but I usually keep mine stored away for a while, and the people that I give them to for Christmas may do the same thing, but then again, they may not. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the canner. This is what I've used in the past. This is like a Mrs. Wages. They make mild, medium, and hot salsa. The mild is like impossible to find. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and tell you why I'm not gonna use this anymore. Number one, the price has doubled with these packets. For $5 a bag or $6 a bag, $7 a bag, that's, that's tripled at that point. So I'm just not gonna pay that anymore. The convenience of it and the price point before, it was, you know, it tastes pretty decent. But if you use your own ingredients and you kind of put things in it that you like and make your own salsa, it definitely tastes better. So that's what I'm going for. And it'll be cheaper. Now, with canning, there's lots of, of avenues of canning. One, you can stick by the book completely. You can go to the food preservation website or you can join some groups with ladies that kind of don't stick by the book and they have some really good old recipes. And there will be some ladies in these groups that will really just kind of tell you what they think about that and how you know unsafe it is. So you do your research, you do you, but I'm gonna find me a good recipe and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do my research, put it all together, figure out the best recipe and the way to do it. And then I'll get back with you guys and we'll see how good it is. All right, so I'm headed down to the shop because the guys are down there working on the gun cabinet and I want to see how far they've gotten. So let's go do that. So my guys, my husband and my kids, they're working on a woodworking project and they're pretty handy. And they are doing a gun safe for my dad, a gun cabinet. And it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna sneak up on them because they're usually talking about me or somebody or something. It's just sneaking up on your line. Yeah. What's that? What's that? It's a rock. It's a rock. Woodworker number one. Woodworker number two. Woodworker number three. First cut, see? Get the clean. 
have enough room to be able to we're cutting the grooves in for the shelf on the side that's where we're at right now getting ready to once we get the grooves to cut in we're going to do some install or some uh, some uh, people lost uh, <laughs> uh, What's it called? Put it all together. Assembly. Assembly. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. So, let's see if my idea works. All right, so my husband has tried to grow carrots here for years. He's never been able to. So, I'll be honest, I've tried a couple times too, and I haven't had any luck. But I didn't give up, and I said I'm going to try it again. He just kind of laughed at me, but, you know, fair enough. I get it. So I started to put them up here in this bed and I, I put some of my chicken compost that I keep down below the chicken coop. And I put it on this bed and voila, the first time ever, carrots. Well, it looked like they finally got to a point where I can maybe pick one of them. So let's, let's see what it looks like. Let's give it a try here. Ooh, look. Isn't that amazing? That is just so amazing. Look how pretty that looks. And I've got some onions that I pulled up. We're gonna take those too. This is gonna be a nice dinner. I'm gonna take this carrot and show it to my husband. I have to before I go in. <laughs> I gotta brag a little bit. <gasps> Look what I did that you didn't do. I grew a carrot. Isn't that pretty? That's a carrot. Cool, isn't it? Did you say I'm conceited? Succeeded. Oh, succeeded. Yeah, succeeded. Okay, well, I'm going to suffer. Going to eat your yes, I am going to eat my carrot. All to myself. <laughs> what? Show Papa. Show, yeah. Show everybody. Show the whole world. I grew a carrot. I grew a carrot. I grew a carrot. I grew a carrot. a recipe that looked really good. It was like a macaroni and cheese casserole. You put breadcrumbs over it and make a cheese sauce. So I'm doing that. Fixing to grill those. Got salad in the refrigerator. Almost time to eat. Right, I'm making some homemade croutons. I just melt butter and I put garlic salt and parmesan but you can put whatever flavors you like. I started doing it because some of the croutons contain like peanuts and Seth has a tree nut allergy, peanut allergy, very severe. So I make a lot of bread stuff because you'd be surprised like how many allergy warnings are on those for like tree nuts and peanuts. It's crazy. 